Senators from our area say they recognize the growing issues of HOAs. State Senator Greg Hembry says he received hundreds of calls from homeowners about disputes. News 13's Janae Lewis joins us now with a look at what he hoped to accomplish with a bill he filed in Columbia. The goal of Hembry's bill is to give homeowners more option should they need to take legal action against an HOA. Now, other bills would make the association subject to state open meeting laws and more clearly state how they can issue a fine. All things people who live in HOAs say they would like to see happen. Wallace Wetter is one of more than a million South Carolinians part of a homeowners association. Having previously served as a board member of the Hidden Woods HOA, he knows firsthand about how they work. If you don't have a rule that backs you up, you just go back and have a meeting and make one up. Wallace and others in HOAs across the state pay a billion dollars each year to maintain their communities. That's why he says he supports any state legislation that would provide more rules and restrictions for them. We should have things across the board to be fair and right to all the people in. HOA needs to have some authority to get things done, but not go overboard and not to manipulate those rules to their interpretation. They need to be defined. Defining those rules was the goal of a bill filed by State Senator Greg Hembry. It would give homeowners other alternatives in the event of a dispute, no matter how big or small. And currently the only option is to go to circuit court. It's expensive, it's time consuming, and it's unnecessary. Uh, so we were going to grant the magistrate's court's jurisdiction because those are sort of the people's courts. His bill was shut down, but the General Assembly since established a study committee to take a closer look at how HOA laws, policies, and procedures work, something Hembry says isn't an easy task. It's even tougher because you have different types of developments that sort of require different types of HOAs. So what might work for a, you know, a stand, you know, standalone home uh, type of an HOA won't work so well for a condominium HOA. But a big sticking point for many of the bills previously filed is education, something Wallace says is needed for HOAs to be truly effective. People that are on the board need to have some education levels to guidelines of laws that would be fair. Something he'll have to wait for with any future bills filed. You can't get people to serve on the homeowners boards anyway and if you make it mandatory, then you're going to run off the few that were willing to do it before. So we made it permissive and made it really just basic. Now, Senator Hembry tells me he will pre-file his bill again in December. He says with many of the major issues out of the way, now is a better time to start work on HOAs. Last year, the General Assembly created a 13-member committee to study issues with HOAs. Reporting for News 13, I'm Janae Lewis.